Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to talk about Once to Watch Team 2, Division Revivals rewards that are coming out here very soon as I'm recording this video, and just everything that came out yesterday in terms of content, right? Wednesday was a mad day in terms of a lot of content coming out with the Once to Watch 2 squad being released, that causing some gold cards to go up, people starting to invest in those. Um, SBCs that came out, we had two new SBCs, an objective that came out, and a team of the week with some crazy price movements that included some ones to watch cards inside the team of the week as well. Odegaard and Thomas Partey. So, a lot to talk about. We're not really looking forward in this video. We're looking backwards just because there's a lot of stuff that happened yesterday and Wednesday. I want to talk about it, explain it, and uh, maybe we'll talk a little bit today about what I think is going to happen with Rivals Rewards, but I kind of already did that in my video yesterday, and I don't really see anything changing. I mean, a lot of stuff that I said yesterday happening uh, or, or, you know, with the market dropping off in the second half of the day did happen in Wednesday, so there are a lot of deals to be had, and I think there will be some profits tomorrow after Division Rivals Rewards. Nothing crazy, right, but a nice little market rise in the morning on some of the meta cards uh, that we saw drop today, so we'll talk about that as well, but... Ones to watch team two. This is what I want to talk about the most today. And this is, I think, like the biggest information that we received today. We finally got the second batch of 11 ones to watch players uh, tweeted out by EA Sports today. The one behind my camera is Arthur, our first white shirt dynamic image of the year. Uh, but we've also got Tiago, Sane, Havertz, Semedo, Van de Beek, Vidal, David, Florenzi, Fran Torres, and Rodrigo. This second set of OTW cards is really nice as well, in my opinion. Havertz and Sané, I think we knew were coming. I think one of the biggest surprises out of this set, honestly, is Nelson Semedo. I think that's a big time ones to watch card. I mean, again, there's just so many, like the, the comment on Footbin when I saw the squad, it just, I tweeted this out today as well. 14 out of 22 of these ones to watch items are from the Premier League. 14 out of 22. Now, I know a lot of the signings this year happened in the Prem, but it's crazy this is so Premier League heavy. And this comment says it all. Welcome to Premier League ones to watch team two because it is mostly Premier League players once again. But EA knows that's where the hype is. That's where they can sell some packs and uh, just get people the most hyped about content in the game if they release players that people know. So uh, I don't mind the player selection for team two. Is it as good as team one? I don't know if it is. Uh, but I feel like there's a lot of cards in this team, too, that have potential to get in forms. Um, Rodrigo, of course, Ferran Torres, obviously, David, Havertz, Sané. Those are like kind of the headliners, in my opinion, that could that could get in forms pretty soon. Uh, so it is pretty nice that we have a decent ones to watch squad coming out. So if you saved your guaranteed ones to watch pack, you're feeling pretty good because this is not, you know, so I know some people were saving their ones to watch pack because they wanted to see this Sané card get an OTW and have the potential to pack him, which it looks like they're going to have that potential to do so. So a lot of what happened today with gold cards for these ones to watch is they went up. Sané was like 110,000 coins all morning, went up to about 120. And it looks like according to Footbin, he is back down. Now, this is what happened last week as well when the first OTW team was released and, and when it was put out there, Timo Werner shot up, kind of dropped back down. And then, of course, as he went out of packs, he's a very meta card, and he went back up again. I honestly am a fan of this Leroy Sané at 100,000 coins. I know we have Douglas Costa as a left mid. I know we have Kingsley Coman in the same team, in the same position as this guy. But he's got the German links to some... We've already had some German special cards. We've got a lot of Bundesliga hype. And, of course, Premier League German links to Havertz now and Timo Werner, who both have ones to watch us. So... I think this the Sane card at like if you can see him at maybe 105, he is gonna go out of packs on Friday. I don't mind that card. Same thing with Havertz, right? Um, Havertz honestly might have a little bit more hype than uh, Sane does. I think Havertz he was up to like 120 earlier, and now he's kind of back down a little bit, maybe down to 115 or so. Uh, but if I saw this back at like 110. Uh, I know I don't have a, co a lot of coins right now, but this before rewards tomorrow. I, this is probably going to rise up with rewards. People starting to invest in these cards again as they're going to go out of packs. Keep an eye on these cards. If they're still low, it, it, just look at their graphs, right? Like we looked at Sané. Sané was 110 before. Uh, he even was announced to be going out of packs. He went to 118, kind of came back down. Let's take a peek at Havertz really fast. What did he do today? I know for a fact that this guy was 120 at one point, and he's back down a little bit. Um, Havertz was 113 in the morning, hit 120, then went to 120, actually a little bit higher than that. I saw 125 in here for a second. Now he's back down to 110. So if you saw this under 110, 
uh, for Havers and, and for Leroy Sané, both of those cards, I think that'd be fantastic buys because they're going out of packs, man. And you saw what happened last week with Bale. Do I need to show you the graph? Do I need to show you the graph of what happened with Bale, right? Even though he was going out of packs, he continued to go higher. He went out of packs right here at 90,000 coins, 87K. He went all the way up to 103. Obviously, there's a, a lack of right wings in the prime, so that probably helped his price rise. Allen did the same thing, though. Even St. Maximin with an inform did that. So I think Havertz is a card people are going to be working their way up towards. And uh, Sané as well. I don't mind you I don't mind you guys buying those. I really don't. I think that could be an investment that you make. Uh, and you could possibly see some market rise on that throughout the next week as he does go out of packs with his gold card. For the rest of this ones to watch team, the gold cards. Van de Beek is somebody who I just... I don't know how many people are using Van de Beek. I don't know how good he is in game. His gold card is up a little bit, I think. Uh, 16k? It might not be up that much at all, actually. Uh, I just think so many people were expecting Van de Beek to get in that everybody was investing in him. And he's probably, he might hit 20,000 coins next week. It's possible. It's very possible that he could. Uh, so maybe if you see this get back down to like 15,000 coins or maybe even like, maybe in the 14s, that would be somewhere where I get kind of interested in that card. But for the rest of the squad, I don't really know if there's, the gold cards are super duper usable and also have a chance to rise more, right? How much is Nelson Semedo's, What's his price range? I think he's almost extinct, right? 48K to 65. He's already up a decent amount. If this card drops anymore, uh, yeah, it went to 50. If this guy is down to like 45, 43 to 45K for this card, I think I would actually buy back in if he gets as low as he was before he was announced today, just because I'm seeing this dude in so many teams. This is the Premier League right back of choice, it seems. I don't know if it's the link to Adama that everybody wants to use him uh, or what it is. But everybody wants to use this card, man. And this would be another good one that I would see rising out of packs next week just because he is so hyped and the pros are using him. And that all the, like, that's the right back in the Premier League to use uh, that is the most meta so far from what I'm hearing. So Semedo, Havertz, Sané, and Rodrigo, I would even throw into this list as well, actually. Um, I just, mm, it's all about pace, man. And what's he at? 37,000 coins at the moment. I would just be careful with a card like this too. I mean, he's getting very, very expensive. 40,000 coins. I know he's got the hype. He's only got a three-star weak foot though. Uh, and you know, we'll see, man. But this could be one that rises out of packs too. I think out of these cards, the most, I like Havertz. I like Sané and I like Semedo. So Rodrigo would be the fourth one. I think he's still got enough hype that'll probably rise. But those are the ones that I like the most. So that's ones to watch team too, man. I don't know how you guys feel about this team. I think it's dope. Um, it's it's not bad. It's not not too terrible. I think there's some potential in forms out of these. And uh, there are definitely some market movements that I think we can capitalize on because this happened last week as well. You have the initial the initial buy up, right? People see it's going out of packs, they buy it up, and then the prices actually drop back down because that that you know panic buying, panic investing kind of holds off and kind of stops. So that's ones to watch team two that I want to talk about. Let's talk about team of the week, um, and also team of the week packs, man. They're finally coming, bro. They are finally coming. Footwatch dropped this in the code last night. I thought this deadline day pack would have already been added, but since this was added into the code, I think that this is going to be coming today. Usually when they add stuff to the code, it will come the day after. Sometimes it comes two days after, um, but I'm kind of feeling this today, man. Kind of feeling this for Thursday content. I don't know what else we would get today other than this pack and possibly the Matweedy or the Higuain SBC that EA Sports did a Twitter vote for. I don't know if you guys saw that, but EA Sports is FIFA did a Twitter vote for a ones to watch SBC with a Twitter poll. It was actually kind of cool that they actually are going to get our feedback from Twitter. That's kind of a different way of them holding a vote per se. So I think a Matweedy SBC is either going to come today or it's going to come with the Friday content, which would make sense maybe because our voting SBC last week came on Friday for Tiago Silva. So we'll see. But I think this pack is going to come in the next day or two. And uh, we're finally going to get our team of the week pack, man. So it's a four... Wants to watch players on a four game loan and then the team of the week pack untradeable guaranteeing you one currently active team of the week player and that team of the week is right here. So it's not as bad as we originally thought it was. We were looking at a prediction in yesterday's video. Christian Eriksen, my guy, gets in. Not terrible. Malinkovic Savage got in. Ramos. I think the biggest names out of this team of the week are Partey, Ramos, Firmino, and Kyle Walker's center back position change, right? This card was extinct, right? There was a rare opportunity today to make coins on a day one team of the week flip because this card was extinct at like 450 or 480,000 coins earlier today. 
They shot the range back up to like 600 or 800 or something, and he was up here at 600K. So if you sniped Kyle Walker's right at the start today, uh, you did have an opportunity to sell him pretty high up in the 600K range. Now he's dropping back down. He's probably going to keep dropping, but this is going to be a card that we're going to have our eyes on. It's going to be very, very good to trade with throughout the rest of at least the next couple months. Center back Kyle Walker informs are always, always pricey. They're always sought after because he has that pace, man. Pace in the center back position. If anybody's running three back, this is an perfect card for a three back formation. And especially with the meta this year being a lot of counterattacks, pace at center back is huge. And this Kyle Walker card, I think is going to be, it's high, high work rate. So he's going to bust his butt back on defense. You might have to get him to and he's got the pace as well, right? 90 acceleration, 95 sprint speed. That's the biggest thing about this card with the position change. I think a lot of people are going to like this card. I think a lot of people are going to run prem teams with this card and VVD together as a partnership in the back. So we're going to keep our eyes on this card very, very closely throughout the week this week. I think this card has just as much hype as even somebody like St. Maxman had last week. This is a very, very hyped up card and it's going to stay that way for weeks to come. So this is a card we're going to watch for a long time. Uh, Thomas Partey as well. Of course, Odegaard and Partey are not in packs right now because their ones to watch items are. And Thomas Partey was a money maker today for a lot of people. Now, I was not on. Of course, I was at work during this time. But I saw a lot of people posting profit posts today. And all it came down to was they realized that this card with a plus two upgrade, it was already priced in at 90,000 coins. They knew that this card was not going to be staying that same price around like the 120 range. A lot of people were buying this card today at 120K and they were able to sell it very, very high, in like the 180s, 190s. Some people were selling it at like 200,000 coins on the on the PlayStation even. So this is a big money maker. If you were on a quick flip today, this card could have made you a lot. And it's just stuff to remember, right? It's just one thing to take. We're all learning from this process, right? We're all learning. You can see here that before the announcement, right? He went from 103. Obviously, Team of the Week started happening. He went up to 145, went back down to 130. This is when people started buying. And then on the release, he jumped up, kind of went back down, and is now rebounding even back again. There were multiple times to make profit on a card like this today. This is why ones to watches can be so much fun. But also, you have to know that there's an other side to the coin. Ones to watches that aren't as hyped don't really react in the same way. Check out Odegaard, right? He was 40,000 coins. He stayed high right until the announcement, and then he dropped down to 31, 32,000 coins. He's maybe rebounding a little bit because his card doesn't look bad, but he's got a two-star weak foot. He just doesn't fit people's teams as well as a Partey does, and uh, he's not as hyped of a transfer as Partey is as well, so there's not as much just this general hype around this card. So that's kind of like the other side of the coin in terms of ones to watch us today. If you sold this one in the hype uh, earlier this morning, you did well, and you're happy with that, so GG's if you did do that. So that's the kind of the ones to watch the team of the week talk. Uh, we talked about Firmino in yesterday's video. We talked about his gold card. Kind of the same thing with Havertz and kind of the same thing with um, the gold cards that are going out of packs for ones to watch is, uh, I think Firmino even dropped a bit today. So Firmino went up, of course, he was like 124,000 coins. And then even after he's announced he's gonna be going out of packs, he drops down because people think that this card should be going up because it's going out of packs. Uh, but people who invest in this card sell it because they think it's going to go up, but they're too impatient to hold on the investment and they sell and it drives the price lower. So Firmino was actually a decent buy today. If you got him down in like the one, 110, 114 range, maybe even like 105 on Xbox, you were chilling with that investment. I This is probably going to be 130K as the week goes on. During the weekend league, possibly it could spike up and even towards next week, the midweek, um, this card could definitely be more inflated in price. So that was a GG if you did get in on some of those so again rivals is today oh shoot before we talk about rivals rewards for just a hot second we got a kind of an interesting objective today another silver star they started this during i don't know when i don't know when this uh this started but the silver stars they started i think it was in like uh either preseason or during the summer heat promo they put out silver cards with boosted stats and basically what they're trying to do with this is they're basically trying to bring back the whole mantra of the tournaments that were out in like FIFA 15, maybe FIFA 16, I think there were tournaments, um, but getting people to play with other cards than just their meta meta squads. Now this is gonna be completed in foot friendlies. This card is not honestly that bad for a silver. I mean, 86 pace, 82 shot. I do not know. I'm not entirely sure like what this guy's stats are individually. Let's take a quick peek. He's got a four-star weak foot, three-star skills. 
It's not a terrible card, and it's honestly just kind of like a club collector item that you can get if you want to make if you want to play a few matches. It could come in handy down the line uh, if there's other silver objectives where you need silver players. So it is very easy to do. You've got seven days to do it. So I would just go out there and do it. Assist four goals, score five, and win two matches in live foot friendlies in the silver lounge. Which I think if you go to live foot friendlies, uh, which I haven't even I think I've done this like once yet this year. Uh, live foot friendlies play online. Uh, where's it at? Silver lounge. Okay, so this is the one right here. You have to play. Have, you have to have an exactly silver as your requirements for player quality. So you have to play with a silver squad. You have two weeks to do this, I guess. View detailed stats. Uh, yeah. So you gotta. You have to. Uh, you gotta play with silver squad. Uh, silver cards to get that player. Very easy, kind of fun, and just not bad. Like it's it's okay. Obviously, the biggest complaint about live foot friendlies is the whole skill-based matchmaking thing, which I definitely am involved with, and I definitely think that it's a friendly mode, right? There should not be skill-based matchmaking in a friendly mode, in my opinion, but it is what it is. That's EA's decision, uh, and they said it is looser than, like, division rivals and stuff, so it is what it is, but uh, that's kind of the objective content we got today. We actually had 12.5K packs as well. Uh, I found that kind of interesting that we had all that content today. And I want to show you guys one last thing that's kind of interesting, right? Before we talk about the market for just a second. Ones to watch release date. This was tweeted out by Unique Riggers today on, on Twitter. I don't know if this is legit or not. And I don't know if this is just going off of speculation. But just take this with a grain of salt. This, wherever this is coming from, and I almost didn't show you guys this because I didn't want to spread false rumors or false hope or anything like that. Uh, but... There is a website saying that wherever this is coming from, it's saying that both teams are going to go back into packs on October 21st. Um, and that means that team one would get re-released and that both teams would be in packs for that third week of the promo. So we'll see if that is actually true or not. But that would be interesting for these ones to watch one cards as these guys go out of packs very soon. Bale is down right now. Ziyech is down right now. A lot of these guys have games this weekend. These are going to be cards to watch on Friday into Saturday. And even after rewards today, they might see a little bit of an uptick on the market because people know they're going out of packs and if they want to buy them, these cards could be pretty interesting. I'm really watching Suarez this weekend. I'm really watching maybe Ziyech, um, Telez. Honestly, I'm watching him, Hakimi, just because he's really cheap and uh, Osaman as well. So keep an eye on these cards. If you want to buy into these, honestly, if you find them dropping it all today on Thursday, that would be the day to do it because tomorrow night, Friday night, when we do get after the promo, after the second team comes out, uh, that's going to be an interesting watch. And also for team number two, since these guys are going to be playing a game, some of them are going to have games the day after they come into packs. That's going to be something we'll watch and we'll talk about in tomorrow's video is watching these ones to watch cards day one. Since they have games day two, there is going to possibly be a, a time where they get too low after all the packs were opened, after they get on the market, they get flooded with supply. And then people realize, hey, this guy's got a game tomorrow. This price is getting too low. I'm going to buy up before he does play just for the potential of him getting an inform and performing well and possibly getting an upgraded card for his ones to watch. That's just something to kind of think about today um, as we do head into that time frame. Again, Rivals rewards are today, all right? Watch the market probably rebound a decent amount. I've got a transfer list full of cards right now and about 100K, 150,000 coins left to spend on some cards that dropped off uh, from the rest of the day today. I want to show you guys the index gold just to show you what's going on. But I've got some Goretzkas because they dropped down from like 62 to 55. This, these Valverdes were bought around the low 60s. He was almost up at 70K earlier today. I got a Dembele at 68. He was mid 70s. I got a couple Dobbins and Sanchez right around 40K because this guy was 49K just yesterday morning. I got an Anaki at 23. He was like 28. So I'm kind of watching some of these cards still. They are getting kind of low because this is what happened. Again, we called it yesterday. I said that watch the market dip off in the afternoon on Wednesday, and that is exactly what it did. We had a really nice sell-off. You know, even there's some cards that are still pretty low right now that are viable, right? Ben Yedder, 137, that's pretty low. Sissoko, that's pretty low at, at 46,000 coins. Yorente is low, Jesus is low. Cards that are meta, that are usable, I think they're gonna rise after rewards. Even a guy like Fakir, I'm kind of interested in. Some of these cheaper cards, I'm still slightly interested in because I think there's still going to be some demand for them. Regulon still has a really usable left back in the Prem. Bergwijn is down like 5,000 coins. That could be interesting. Again, Sanchez is low. Holland, I might stay away from. He was out of packs. Just be careful with that one. Uh, and then some of those cards. 
uh, Lucas Hernandez is pretty low. So just kind of if there's any last minute rewards buys that you want to make, go through here and check on some of these cards and see how much they've kind of dropped off. And then if it's meta, Premier League, French, Brazilian, you know the vibes. Buy the cards that are going to go up. Buy the cards. If they rose earlier this week, uh, let me show you a perfect a perfect example. Davinson Sanchez. This is how you know late night if you can make a good buy. This dude went from 42,000 coins on Sunday when we bought our cards originally. We sold them all like Tuesday, Wednesday. He went up to 46,000 coins. He was, I think, actually 49K this morning. Yeah, he 40, 46,000 coins this morning. 47K. Maybe it was Tuesday that he had 49. 48,000 coins on Tuesday. So uh, definitely watch some of these cards uh, as they're low and they could possibly rebound back to where they were after rewards today as people buy teams for the first week in league of FIFA 20. Also, this is the last thing I promise, all right? I'll stop the video after this. Diogo Jota had a two goal, one assist performance today midweek in a uh, international game. It wasn't a friendly. It was like the, the Nations League or something like that. But he did the business today for Portugal. He was man of the match. He had the best rating, uh, according to Sofa Score, of anybody in the game. I know it's a midweek game, but it's possible that he does get an inform, especially if he plays on the weekend and does something that is decent, right? If he if he scores a goal on the weekend, even if he has an assist, I would say that this Jota card could get in. If EA want to be nice, they'll upgrade the card that they gave us in objectives. Now, last year, we had a very similar situation with a guy named Tangi Ndombele from, from Spurs. New transfer, got an objective card. He scored a goal on his debut. It was a nice goal, and they didn't give him the ones to watch upgrade. They didn't put him in team of the week. If you have been grinding this Jota card, and if you if this performance and the possible upgrade of this card going to an 83 rated, that's going to be a nice card if he's 83 rated. You might have wanted to wish you would have done it. I'm probably going to end up completing this at some point during the next week just because I want to get it done if he does get in the team of the week. But this will expire right when the team of the week would come out. So it's going to expire next Wednesday at 6 p.m. UK. So you can't really gamble with this one. You have to get it done beforehand uh, and kind of, you know, kind of have to get it done beforehand and just and just risk it for the biscuit. Put the time in if you think he's going to get that upgrade. So that's one thing you guys can do as well to maybe prepare ahead of time and get that card. If you do think he's going to get the inform, it is possible. It could happen. We'll see if EA is very nice to us and does that. So it's going to be a good Thursday. Hopefully we get some more content, maybe an SBC, maybe the deadline day pack. Definitely watch out for that on the market. But if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel for new. It's been Nate, the foot accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace.